So, Ireland 29, Wales 7. What a massive win for Ireland. Let's get into it. A big home win for Ireland. They're off and running. Bonus point. And they are massive contenders for this championship. We knew they probably would be, but they've proved it again, just carrying on from where they left off in the autumn. Now, Wales, they're going to be disappointed. I think it's fair to say this was a poor performance for Wales. You know, actually probably one of the worst I've seen for a while. In the last 10 minutes, they actually started picking it up. And I'll talk about where I think they lost it and how they picked it back up. But they're going to be so much better, I think, against Scotland. I mean, they have to be, to be honest. That was pretty poor. It was always going to be tough away to Ireland, but they were never really in it at all. So they've just got to dust themselves off and kind of just push this to the side of their minds and get back in there when they're back at home next week. So anyway, let's get into the game. I'll talk about some of the events and also analyse the game as it went, the players, the teams, etc. How it started off with a bit of luck for Ireland. A lucky ricochet, uh, ricochet lets Hansen makes a big 40-50 uh, metre break. He looks a bit nervous to start with Hansen, but he actually grows into the game and has a really good game. And he actually shins his chip kick really badly, but it kind of works. Puts Ireland on the front foot ball, and they score a beautiful try straight away. Um, everyone knows exactly what they're doing straight away for Ireland. When to hit up, when to go left, when to go right, uh, when to pull it out the back, and it was just perfect, this try. They basically hit up a few times, went round the corner, then swung back again out to Aki to score. Lovely pass from Hansen getting in the uh, play again. Just a disaster start for Wales, but so slick from Ireland. 7-0 straight away. I mean, that's just not what you want when you're playing away from home anyway. Then Wainwright fumbles the ball in the line-out five minutes later. Wainwright didn't have the best game. I think he fumbled in the line-out later on as well. There are quite a few players for Wales that didn't have a great game. Uh, the likes of Adams, etc. Just didn't work out. Rhys Samet didn't have a great game either. And 10 minutes in, Ireland, they're just not overplaying. In their own half, they're kicking. They're putting pressure on. And when they get in Wales' half, then they're striking. Um, another slow uh, present there from Wainwright in the ruck. Again, like I said, not a good game for him. Porter who had an amazing game, gets a jackal penalty. But Sexton misses a penalty, and he misses a couple of penalties, actually. A really bad uh, wind going on, and he does kind of hang it up in, in the wind and let it push across, and he changes his style completely later on, hitting it a lot flatter. But that was a little humorous. But anyway, they should be further ahead here. And Wales, they've got to start contesting the ruck. Now, I wrote this in my notes throughout the game. If for the majority of this game... Wales were just not contesting the ruck. And Ireland's big positive is their ruck speed. And they weren't getting hands on the ball. They weren't counter-rucking. They weren't threatening. Plus the fact their hits were quite passive in defence. It was just a disaster for them because it let Ireland play fast, fast, fast. Plus they know exactly what they're doing. So even at this early stage, I'm saying Wales have got to start doing this or they're in trouble. And as it proved to be, I was right there. They got in big trouble by not doing that. And throughout, Sexton just conducted the play. Sure, he's got a good front foot ball, but he was picking all the right options, when to pass, when to run, when to kick. So Ring Rose looking super sharp with a couple of half breaks early on. The one shining light I'd say for Wales, if we're going to get a positive out of this first half, was their scrum. It looked solid throughout, to be honest. So that's decent. I think they launched one good attack off it as well, but it wasn't enough to get a load of penalties and score tries. But anyway trying to get some positives 20 minutes in just unbelievable pass from furlong tyke furlong the big tight head there just pushes a pass out to sexton couldn't see what was on and he just pushed it out the back there sexton feeds conway who goes deep into the 22 it's magic rugby stuff and the pressure makes a penalty sexton gets this one 10 nil deserve a big lead um, and wales they're just sucking in auction at this point they're chasing their tails chasing their tails because they're allowing Ireland to play so fast. They've had no good attack so far. They can't lay a hand on the ball or, con or contest the ruck at all. Not looking good 20 minutes in. Then, on 21 minutes in, Wales do get a decent attack. But the difference is Ireland make the ball slow in the ruck and Wales start going backwards because they're getting the big hits in defence, contesting the ruck. It's just a case in point. Um, and they get a choke tackle turnover just to prove that even further. And Wales actually have some decent possession. It's not like they weren't short of possession. They had some good possession, um, 
but the ball is slow, they fumble it, they're not flowing, they look to be panicking, pushing the pass too much, and because that green wall's coming up, they're just getting smashed back and back. Ireland spoiling, it's looking panicked, it's not good, but they've still got good possession, make some good gain line carries off a scrum actually after half an hour. I was thinking, this is it now, but sloppy rucking, and Ireland are contesting that ruck, and it's Conan this time with a jackal penalty. So just real chalk and cheese between the two sides there. And another set of massive tackles from Ireland in 32 minutes. They are pushing their blitz defence, and they're so confident in their defensive shape. They're just flying up, making the tackles. Completely different to Wales, um, and they're smashing Wales back. You know, I made a note at this point. It was, it was getting painful. I was almost shouting at the TV because Wales are better than this. They were standing off their tackles. They were getting a little bit of line speed. And because they were so unsure of maybe their defensive structure or they were so worried about Ireland getting to the edge, they would get up in their line speed and then hold off, which meant if they made their tackles, they weren't dominant. They weren't knocking them back. It was really clear, something they rectified late on in the game when it was too late. Another genius pass, this time from Keenan, just round the pack of the tackler. Absolutely beautiful. Ireland getting to the edges very effectively. They don't score this time. Both sides line out as well. Wasn't going the best, to be honest. A couple of Wainwright fumbles. Um, you know, both sides not completely um, solid there, but you know, a few positives, I guess, for, our, uh, for Wales, as in the set piece wasn't a disaster. Ireland, they're going to be disappointed. Only 10-0 up at half-time with all those forays into the 22. But still, they're up. They're looking dominant. Wales have got to change something at half-time. Now, this was one of the halves of rugby where you say, Ireland probably deserved more than 10 and Wales are probably lucky to get zero. It was that bad. But it starts exactly the same in the second half. Ireland straight away in with crazy ruck speed. And I'm just, again, shouting at the TV, Wales, why are you so passive in defence? Even if you take a chance and let them through, you've got to get up there in their face and make some big hits, make some jackal attempts, something, and they're not doing it. And then Wales give a series of penalties, I think it's like three in a row, just give Ireland great position, sex and picking the right options, and it's a brilliant try from Conway. The ball goes over the top to Conway, it looks like he's not going to score. He goes in, he goes out, scores the try, absolutely brilliant. Ugly conversion from Sexton into the win, but gets it nailed. 17-0, that's more like it. That's kind of what they deserve. Um, and again, making that note on the Welsh defence, got to improve, got to improve, or they're in trouble, and they just don't until too late. Wales have more decent possession, 46 minutes, but it's panicking. They're chucking that ball away again. Ireland in their face, Wales look flustered. They've got long spells of possession, but they're just not going anywhere. But it looks finally, after all their grind, they get a penalty. It looks like they're going to get points on the board. But no, Adams, who's just flying around like a bull in a china shop, silly shoulder charge into Sexton, reverse the penalty, yellow card, just the last thing they needed. And if to make it even worse, whilst he's off, great team try for Ireland. The backline handling is brilliant, just popping the ball along the line. Absolute classic stuff. Work it wide. Um, and then they actually finally find a hole for van der Fleer through the middle. And inevitably, when it goes back out wide, acres of space for Conway to canter in. 24-0. And at this point, I wrote game over. Could not see a way back for Wales. And that proved to be the case. But Wales, again, have decent possession. They get a maul, get a penalty. But uh, a 10-metre maul, Lake gets piled into touch as they try and work it back to Lake off the line-out. Doesn't work. More good possession, but more Welsh errors. Can't get over the game line. Can't get any points. Not looking good. And then we get a lovely turnover transition from Ireland. Hansen out to Aki. Lovely hands. Ring Rose, far too much pace. Great try for Ring Rose. Yeah, it's looking really um, all over at this point. Absolutely, completely over. Ireland full of confidence, and it becomes a bit scrappy, to be fair. Towards the end, Ireland getting a bit confident, maybe a bit overconfident. Plus, Wales bring on some subs, start making some big hits, start looking absolutely desperate in defence finally. So right at the end, Basham picks up a loose pass from Tyg Byrne as Ireland finally actually overplay from their own half. Canters under 29 seven so they're not nailed it's too little too late the tackles like i said get better but it's all over 29 7 ireland a massive win 
really well deserved lots of great performances all round wales really poor to be fair one of their worst they've got to be better next week i'm sure they will be they'll be having a look in the mirror some probably some harsh words as well from their coach a bit of a rocket needed and they need to come back firing if they're going to get into this championship but anyway let me know what you think guys a really good game to start with i think especially the performance from ireland pop those comments below and i'll catch you next time